Out of Nintendo's core franchises, the Zelda games have by far the deepest and most interesting lore and backstories. Telling the tale of a young boy finding his courage and overcoming impossible odds to stand up to a powerful evil, and set in all sorts of brilliant and beautiful locations like the bright and bustling Hyrule from Ocarina of Time, the vast ocean of the Wind Waker, or the ruined wasteland of Breath of the Wild. So I know I'm not the first to wonder, what if there was a Legend of Zelda movie or TV series? So as most of you have probably heard, Nintendo, along with Illumination Studios, yeah, the ones who made fucking Minions, are working on a Super Mario movie. It's being co-produced by Shigeru Miyamoto himself, and while we don't know anything else about the film, it's speculated to release somewhere around 2020. So that's one of Nintendo's massive series making the jump, no pun intended, onto the silver screen, could Zelda be next? Hype and speculation around a Legend of Zelda movie has been buzzing for years. We've got countless fake rumours about it, the most recent and famous being the rumour that Netflix were working with Nintendo to produce a Legend of Zelda series, which the late Satoru Iwata had to deny personally. So in the absence of anything official, except the series that we don't talk about... A kissing contest! Why, sure. Next. Ow! There have been so many fan-made trailers and shorts, such as IGN's April Fool's live-action Zelda trailer back in 2008, which was professionally produced to troll Zelda fans. Based on a sort of weird mashup of Zelda games, mainly Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, we see things like Link touching the Triforce when on a trip to Castletown, visit iconic Zelda locations like the Temple of Time, and go blow-to-blow -blow with Ganondorf. While this trailer was a really good April Fool's video, I can't imagine it ever being a real thing. If a Zelda movie or series ever does see fruition, I really doubt it'll be one of these cheesy CGI video game films like Assassin's Creed or Warcraft. The Legend of Zelda series has more class than that, and that's why I'd much prefer it personally to go in the direction of a different fan trailer, Matt Vince's Studio Ghibli inspired Zelda trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, please watch the full thing by clicking the card in the top right or the link in the description. But this is, I think, the best way Nintendo could approach a Legend of Zelda project for TV or film. Studio Ghibli is a Japanese animation studio, famous for films like Princess Mononoke or Howl's Moving Castle. Princess Mononoke in particular is important in this regard because it seems it heavily inspired elements of Breath of the Wild, such as the main character's attire and the technology versus nature theme. Studio Ghibli films are brilliant works of art, and I think this style would fit the Legend of Zelda series best. While Super Mario is definitely more Americanized and would therefore fit a more mainstream Illumination style of animation, The Legend of Zelda definitely sticks more to Nintendo's Japanese roots, and going with Japanese animation for a Zelda series or film would be, in my opinion, the best way to go about it. In terms of a Zelda anime, the closest I think we've ever got was the promotional video for Palutena, Link and Pit for Smash 4 at E3 2014. This is so cool. Who wouldn't want a full series of this? But what story would be best to tell? The Zelda series has countless different games, each telling a different tale, though obviously most are variants on the classic Link vs Ganon story. And a lot of the games lead into another in a really convoluted way with the timeline, which I don't think would translate well to film or mainstream TV. If it did make the jump from games to television, I think a standalone story would be the easiest, something like Matt Vince has illustrated here, the story of Ocarina of Time. Despite the weird connotations to the timeline, Ocarina of Time is a fantastic standalone story and is by far the most famous Legend of Zelda narrative. Young Link figuratively and quite literally grows into his role as the hero and stops the great king of evil in a climactic showdown. However, there's one Zelda story I'd love to see even more in an animated film. One tale that I think fits the best as a standalone story, not relying at all on the legend of the Triforce, Hyrule or Demise's curse, the story of Termina and the Hero of Time. Majora's Mask is one of the best Zelda stories. In terms of the depth of the characters, 
is above and beyond any other game. It tells the tale of the Skull Kid, tricked and used by a malevolent deity Majora, and the hero stopping the moon itself from falling on the populated clock town. While Ocarina of Time would be a fantastic standalone story for a Zelda film that really sums up the Zelda series in terms of being a very standard Zelda storyline, Majora's Mask I think would hit harder and be, well, a better film, with its very real characters and their struggles under the oppression of something that looks unstoppable, the literal moon falling from the sky. What would you guys want from a Legend of Zelda movie or TV series if we ever got one? Leave your ideas in the comments below or tell me on Twitter at Zeltic. Cheers guys and I'll see you next time.